Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. In this beam, we have two loads, one point load, 12 kilo newton in the center, and then we have uniformly distributed load, 4 kilo newton per meter. It is acting for the whole span. The length of the beam is 6 meter. Now we are going to find the moments MA and MB. For that, we are going to use moment area method. In this method, first we have to draw mu diagram. To draw this diagram, we have to convert the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. You can see that I have converted the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. In this beam, let us find the vertical reactions RA and RB. We know that in this beam, the loading is symmetrical. So we can easily find the vertical reactions. For that, we have to find the total load and then divide that by 2. Here, there are two loads. The point load 12 kilo newton and the uniformly distributed load 4. Let us add both of them. We have to multiply the UDL with the distance 6. Then we have to divide this by 2. When we do that, we are getting RA and RB, which is 18 kilo newton. Now let us find the bending moment in the point C, that is the center. I am going to find it from the point A. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Finally, we are getting 36 kN meter. Now, for the simply supported beam, let us draw the bending moment diagram. We know that in the simply supported ends, the bending moment is 0. We have found the bending moment in the point C, that is 36. Since there is uniformly distributed load for the full span, the bending moment diagram will be in the parabolic shape. Now we have to find the area of this diagram. We know that here we have point load and uniformly distributed load. So it is difficult to find the area by using formula. In this case, we can do integrations and find the area. We have to make sections in this beam. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So we have to make two sections, one in AC and one in CB. We know that in this beam, we have symmetrical loading. So when we make the integrations in both of the sections, we will get the same value. In this case, we can make any one of the section and multiply the integration by 2. You can see that I have made only one section. I have made the section in AC, but we have to multiply the integration with 2. I have made the section at a distance of x from the point A. Now let us find the bending moment about the section from the point A. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x, so 18x. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. 4 upon 2, we will get 2 x into x, we will get x square. Now let us do the integration. For the integration, the limit is 0 to 3. Now we can take a calculator and do this integration. If you do not know how to do integration in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. We can do the integration manually also, but it will take more time. We can use this formula and do the integration. When we integrate x, we will get x square upon 2. When we integrate x square, we will get x cube upon 3. 
then we can apply the limits no need to apply the lower limit because it is zero when we apply that we will get a zero only so only apply the upper limit three finally for the area of mu diagram we are getting 126 now let us draw the mu dash diagram we know that in this beam we have symmetrical loading in this case the values of ma and mb will be same so the mu dash diagram will be a rectangle let us find the area of mu dash diagram for that we have to multiply the height ma with the length 6 so the area of mu dash diagram is 6 ma now let us equate the area of mu dash diagram and area of mu diagram we have found both of them let us apply them we can take 6 on the other side it will come in the denominator 126 upon 6 we will get 21 we know that the values of ma and mb will be same so both of them are 21 we know that ma will be acting in the anti-clockwise direction and mb will be acting in the clockwise direction now we are going to find the vertical reactions ra and rb we know that in this beam the loading is symmetrical so we can easily find the vertical reactions for finding the vertical reactions we have to divide the total load by 2 there are two loads the point load 12 and the uniformly distributed load 4 with the uniformly distributed load we have to multiply the distance 6 Finally, for Ra and Rb, we are getting 18 kN. Now, we are going to draw the shear force diagram. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A and towards the point B. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Here, you can see the calculations. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now we can combine the mu diagram and mu dash diagram so that we will get the bending moment diagram. Wherever they are alone, we have to mark the values with the signs. Wherever they are together, we should not mark anything, just to keep the space empty. To find the maximum positive bending moment, we can subtract 21 by 36. 36 minus 21, we will get 15. Alternatively, we can draw the bending moment diagram by calculating the bending moment in all of the points. You can follow any one of the method, whichever is easier. In this beam, we have symmetrical loading, so we can easily draw the diagram. We have to find the bending moments in all of the points A, C and B. To find the moments in the points A and C, we can use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. In the point A, we have the moment MA which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it is negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. The UDL is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Finally for the bending moment in the point C we are getting 15 kN meter. To find the bending moment in the point B, we can use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. In the point B, MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. We can find the location of these two points, but it is not necessary. Since it is a symmetrical diagram, both of these locations will be same. So we can take any one of them. 
I am going to take this point and make a section. Let us name this section as xx. We know that in this section the bending moment is zero. Using the right hand side rule, we can find the bending moment. Finally, we will get this equation. Then using the calculator, we can find x, which is 1.377 meter. So we have found both of the locations where the bending moment becomes zero. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.